Oh, stretchy, stretchy. Mm, oh, gosh. Hmm. Hmm. Should get up. <sighs> Need to get up. But I really want to stay in bed. It's just so crazy. Having said that, I really want to go and buy a train today. Gosh, what is this place? This, I, this feels weird. I've not been here in a long time. What are all these, are these trains? Is that what they are? I'm, I'm not too sure. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, um, I'm back. Uh, just, yeah, kind of, finally, I'm back. Okay, so about a month ago, um, I was leading up to Christmas. No, we just had Christmas. Oh my gosh, time's going so fast. Okay, so a month ago it was Christmas, and now it's the end of January 2020, and um, the UK is about to leave Europe, but we're, we're not discussing politics. Um, and oh my gosh, so much of the rail world of so much of the world of railways has changed. Um, I don't know where to begin. Honestly, a Virgin West Coast is no longer Virgin West Coast. It's now Avanti, although the trains are the same for now. And um, the East Coast Virgin have lost that too, and it's L N E R. It's like nationalised. A Northern Rail has just been nationalised, literally just been nationalised this week, I think. It's like back to the future, isn't it? It's, it's so strange. London Northwestern is was London Midland. Uh, EMR is East Midlands Railways. It's just all I can't keep up. I can't, I can't cope with all this change. It's too much. Honestly, I'm off the scene for, okay, a year, nearly two years, and bang. The whole world just collapses. I mean, it's just ridiculous. I got a train set. Ta da! <laughs> um, apologies if the video quality is a bit dodgy or if the sound is a bit dodgy. Um, I'm, I'm experimenting with a brand new camera. This is the DJI Osmo Pocket. I've got it because I really do think it's going to be wonderful for getting close up shots on the layouts. Um, but I'm not too sure how it's going to cope with this stuff. I do have an audio recorder. The little lapel mic that I can use and I'm, I think that is going to get better results but I shall try that in the next video when I look at this properly. Um, I got the Shakespeare Express by Backman in Double O because it was just gorgeous. I just fell in love with it. Um, I'll put the rest of the footage as to how I got this to what led to this um, after this little intro bit. But basically, I wanted to reconnect with trains and model railways and just fall in love with something. I wanted to buy something because I wanted it, not because it's going to be popular or because people want to see how it performs or because it's the latest thing and it's cost five thousand pounds. I just wanted I just wanted to buy something that I like and I know I'll enjoy, and that's why I got this. It's as simple as that. Um, do you know? It sounds crazy, but that's exactly what I did 10 years ago, just over 10 years ago now, when the channel started. I ordered a HST from Hattons, as everybody knows. It turned up and I filmed it and the rest is history. So I just wanted to do kind of, kind of the same thing again. And I bought this because it is beautiful. I mean, just look at all the stuff you get. Oh my gosh. It contains a GWR, GWR, Hall class 4965, Rude Ashton Hall, three chocolate and cream coaches, and an even a strap it upon Avon EFE open top tour bus. I mean, that is amazing. I have opened it very, very briefly in the shop and had a look at the stuff, had a look, for, uh, had a look at all the contents, and I will very, okay, this is naughty because this isn't actually the review video, but I will very, very quickly show you just how beautiful, oh, look at that. Oh my gosh, just look. Can you see that? How gorgeous is that? Look, there's the whole class of locomotive. So the coaches, as you'll see, are, they're not the same coaches. They're not the same, the, the same type. So there's um, 
premium Pullman coaches down here. And then there's what looks like a Mark 1 up here at the top. It's definitely a Mark 1. It's not a Mark 2 or Mark 3 or anything like that. It's all the same livery, obviously, chocolate and cream. Mm -hmm. But um, this is a Mark 1. They're premium Pullman. That's the EFV um, Stratford upon Avon tour bus. And that is our GWR Hall class logo up at the top there. Absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous. I need to shave. Right, better get going. Every day, fragrance every day. I, I miss you now. Okay. <laughs> so you're in the car with Will. Here we go, this is an ICH2 first. Um, oh God, this guy's right up my bum as well. Why do you get people like that? Where is he gonna go? Oh, he's gone. Good. Right. Okay, so I'm on my way to Trident Trains. Trident Trains is my um, my model railway shop of choice. Um, also, Backman's, I do believe. Um, Backman Retailer of the Year, I think, at the moment. Which is pretty freaking awesome. Uh, well done, Richard. God, traffic. No, it's worse, it's worse than that. It's Christmas traffic. Yes. Oh, what joy. What joy, what joy, what joy. So, I'm on my way to Trident Trains to buy a train. Why am I going, why am I, why am I buying a train? I'm buying a train because that's what started the channel in the first place. You know, um, the joy and excitement you get when you buy a brand new train. And when I say train, I use the word train um, loosely, okay? There's no need to be all pedantic about it. No, he actually means a loco. No, he means a DMU. Come on. I'm afraid there isn't really a word that, and, unless I say rolling stock. Yeah, there we go. That, Oh, that's really festive and Christmassy, that is, yeah. Congratulations on your new rolling stock. No, I'm going to buy a train. Besides, it might actually literally be a train. It might be a train. It might be a train set, you know. It could be Engage, it could be 009, although that still sounds like a double agent to me. Um, well, a secret agent, yeah. <laughs> oh, gosh, you can tell I've not done this in a while. How am I? I'm very well, thank you. I'm very good. Yes. Um, which way am I going? I'm going the long way. Yes, that's right. There is no easy, nice, quick way. Uh, oh, text message from Richard, actually. <laughs> um, will it read it out? Let's see. Okay, see you soon. <laughs> okay, see you soon. <laughs> yeah, Richard knows I'm on my way. And I am literally on my way. There, there you go, Richard. You're famous. You're on video now. Um, yeah, I could I could have cut right through Crew. I've just gone past Bentley, by the way. Um, I could have cut right across Crew, but it's Christmas. It's Sunday before Christmas. There's traffic everywhere. So I thought, no, no, I'll go this way. So I'm going past Bentley. Um, all the way to Nantwich, basically, and then sort of round the back of Nantwich, and then on to Trident Trains that way. Yeah. It might seem a little bit of a strange way to go, but the only other route to take would be right across Crewe, through, is it Wibbenbury? No, that doesn't sound right. No. 
Shavington, Shavington, yeah, through Shavington, across the lights at Shavington, then it's Rivenbury, I think. Um, but anyway, no, I, I won't do that. I might come back that way. Yeah, I could come back that way. Let's come back that way. Yeah. <laughs> when I set up the channel 10 years ago, 2009, um, I had just received that beautiful Hornby HST from Hattons, and it was gorgeous. And I was literally just about to open it and start running it, and then I thought, no, I'll film it. Other people might find it interesting. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how the channel was born. And that, that's it. Literally, that moment of where I stopped and I grabbed my camcorder. That I had no idea what I was letting myself in for. No idea. How am I? How am I? People keep asking how I am. I'm honestly, I'm okay. I'm really good, actually. Um, it was a bit emotional. When it came to the anniversary of my nan's death, and I know it's going to be tough come February when it's the anniversary of Sylvia's death, but um, you know, life goes on. You've got to take comfort in the quality times that you spend with those people. Um, and I did have lots of quality time with those people. You know. So I've got some amazing memories. So I just keep thinking about those. Um, it happens to us all, I'm afraid. No one gets out alive. It's all about absolutely maximizing your time while you're here and enjoying it to the full. Life is for living. It's, it's as simple as that. That's what my nan did, that's what Sylvia did. And that's why I am driving myself to Trident Trains today to go and buy a train. Um, oh, what will it be? Will it be steam? Will it be diesel? Hey, it might be electric. It could be an EMU. No, I'm, no, I, I'm good for EMUs. I don't think I want an EMU. Um, and obviously the Pendolinos are not in the new livery yet. I don't really want one in white livery, which is just bland. Gosh! So much has changed. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I've been out of the loop for a while. I, I, I hold my hand up, I admit that I have been out of the loop for a while. But, gosh, so much has changed. We've now got the LNWR, the London Northwestern Railway. We've got the LNER, the London Northeastern Railway. And I, thanks to my really good friend Gareth, I got to go on those uh, a month ago up to Edinburgh and back. That was amazing. And Virgin, I've lost the West Coast, it's gone. It's not Virgin anymore, it's Avanti or, or something. Or is that just the name of the train or is that the name of the route? I, I, I'm not sure. I don't know. I need to look into it, I need to study it. I've got so much to catch up on. And there's been so many trains and there's been so many locos and so many packs and I've missed so many events. I haven't even been to a heritage line in over a year. I just lost interest, you know, just having two really emotional events like that, losing two people you love very much, just made me lose all interest in trains, I'm afraid. Oh, well, I lost interest in a lot of things. I lost interest in cars, I lost interest in holidays, planes, drawing, painting, cooking, everything. Um, but that was, that was a while ago. I'm okay now. Stuck in traffic. It's not too bad. Um, I'm at the bypass. Okay, sh shall I go through Nantwich or shall I go left and go round Nantwich? 50-50. Uh, it makes no difference, does it? If you go through Nantwich, you'll get stuck at traffic lights and you'll get stuck in traffic jams. And if you go round, you'll get stuck in traffic jams and stuck at roundabouts. So, <laughs> which, which do you prefer, Will? Roundabouts or traffic lights? What's it to be? Um, roundabouts. <laughs> let's go, let's go uh, round Nantwich. Maybe it will be um, a 
really nice Engage pack because Engage stuff is really cool. I think it's going to be double O, if I'm honest. Uh, I'm pretty sure the last train set I bought was Engage, that Royal Mail one, I think. I don't know, it's going back a while, isn't it? Oh, and um, a quick update on the I see it's two mail, yes. The items are being sent back now, that's being processed. It's taken a while, but it is happening, so that's really good. Um, and everybody's being so patient and they're being so incredibly understanding. And I just, it's amazing. I really have got the most amazing um, watchers, viewers, fans, whatever in the world. I couldn't ask for better people. hobby has got so many lovely people in it, it really has. <laughs> Not everybody's that lovely, <laughs> but the vast majority of people are, so that's really good. Uh, I hate this roundabout. It's two lanes, but no one ever knows whether you're supposed to be in the left one or the right one. I think you can use both, but you just have to be courteous, basically. So that's what I'm doing. Yeah, loads were using both lanes and just being courteous. There you go. See, that's what it's about. You've just got to be nice. You know, if everybody was just a little bit nicer, if everybody was just a little bit more patient, the world would be so much better. God, we've got a guy here on a bike, on a road like this. And that is not a cycle lane. That is basically what's called a soft verge. You're not supposed to ride there. It's not dang, it's, it's not safe. Gosh, that sun, yikes. Woo. When did SUVs become so popular? They are absolutely everywhere. But the, the thing is, they're so big that they block your view of the road, which makes other people buy one, which makes other people buy one. And then suddenly, we're all not going to be able to see anywhere because we're in an SUV. So then someone will get a truck, and then everyone else will get a truck. <laughs> Where does it stop? I'm just going to have a good look at what is in stock. And do you know, whatever my heart says, get it, that's what I'll get. I don't care if it's a Class 47 that's been out for two years. And I still haven't done a Class 68. I'm not bothered. It's not about that. It's about it's about whatever I like, whatever I enjoy, whatever gets me excited and wanting to carry on with my trains. That's what it's about. Stay green, stay green, stay green, stay green, stay green, stay green, stay green. Stay green, stay green. Ah, oh, thank you. <laughs> We're just about to go past Stapley House, ladies and gents. Hello? You right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm good, thank you.
Okay, hey peeps. Hope you can hear me okay. Um, I've actually, I'm actually walking across Nantwich. I'm making my way across Nantwich. So yeah, sorry, I'm making my way across Nantwich with a coffee. Oh, lovely. Um, oat milk latte with a touch of amaretto, by the way. One of my favorites, just so you know. Okay, well, Richard's shop was rammed. Absolutely jam-packed, seriously. Never seen it so busy. It was impossible to film in there. It was, Im it was impossible to talk to Richard, never mind film. Um, I think for a start, it's that time of year and it? it's Christmas, everyone's really busy at this time of year. Everyone wants to buy stuff. And secondly, Hornby have brought out a load of new products and so have Batman and even Dapol and Oxford and I think I think that's one of the reasons it was so popular. So I thought, right, I'll take the uh, opportunity to do a bit of Christmas shopping, basically. So I'm walking across Nantwich holding a camera at arm's length. Everyone's staring at me because no one's ever seen a camera before. And um, I thought I'd get some Christmas shopping ticked off before heading back to Richard's shop. I have looked at some trains and I gotta tell you, it's pretty tough. I don't know what to go for. Okay, I'm just on the skate park and do I dare it? Do I dare walking across that huge field? Oh, I don't know. Seriously not sure about that. Oh my God, actually no. Just look at all that water. No way. Look, everybody's in wellies. <laughs> and I'm in trainers. So, nope, forget that. Path it is. <laughs> so yeah, anyway, I was saying, I was looking at the trains and I really can't decide what to go for. Um, gosh, it's so hard. There's a gorgeous pack by Backman called the Shakespeare Express. Um, I'm not too sure what loco it is, but it's a beautiful classic steam loco with three um, chocolate and cream coaches, not two. Three, so that is a really tempting pack. I must admit, it does spark joy. I might have to get that. Okay. So yeah, there's the Shakespeare Express. Um, oh, there's a Northern Bell set with a budget Class 47 and some budget coaches. It's nice though, and one of the coaches is Malcop which is a castle, well, technically a folly, like 12 miles from my house. So that's quite tempting. Um, there is a beautiful LMS pack called Going Home. That's by Hornby, but it's really expensive. And I've already got like five black fives. So I'm not too sure about that. There's some gorgeous little shunters. Um, there's obviously the class 68 is the new class 158 by Backman with the 22 pin DCC chip the Plux chip that's really tempting uh, got the lights light up outside and you can't drive the unit off until you switch the lights off <laughs> that's just these yeah, it's getting so realistic now oh my gosh anyway lots to think over while I walk around and go to the shops I will be back at Trident Trains very soon. I've sent Richard a text um, to tell him I've popped out for a drink and do a bit of shopping. I've seen loads of his trains. <sighs> I just need to decide what to go for. It's so hard. <laughs> <sighs> Coffee drank. Christmas shopping done. I'm leaving Nantwich now and heading back to Trident Trains. I still can't decide what to go for. I'm really tempted by lots of different options. I'll speak to Richard and see what he says. Here we go.
fuck. Okay, I'll get this put onto my fancy new computer, get all the rest of the footage in, and um, I will start to get going on social media again as well. Um, there's an awful lot of comments, there's an awful lot of messages and uh, stuff on Facebook, stuff on Twitter, and again, thank you so much for being, <laughs> well, for being amazing, for just being the most amazing people ever because it, when you just start reading the comments and the messages that are coming in it's just so awesome and it, it's so exciting to to be back so I, I'm, I've just noticed my um, my little pacer over there my pacer logo uh, hang on one sec did I call it a pacer logo it's not even a loco it's a train it's a DMU it's a diesel multiple unit and this is the really old one. And the reason these are all in the news at the moment is because they're supposed to be gone, aren't they? Because they're not very disability friendly. Uh, well, I don't think they are at all, unless they're heavily modified. Um, but they're still going. Um, I, I, think that, I think Northern Rail still have a few, possibly. I know, I know they exist somewhere. I've seen it in the news. So that's, again, just one of those interesting and quirky things. Right, I really am going now, I promise. Uh, thank you so much for being patient and for watching my video, and um, I will see you in the next one. Hey peeps, I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to leave a comment, please give it a like, and if you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.